So the word now is May, May. It looks like this um, and you will see it a lot soon as well. Um, if you've heard the word May or May or the expression May or May or as in no have, no have, then you've definitely heard this May because this May is the part of, is the first part of that May or. Um, so May or, uh, well let's start with May and go move on to May or later on. It looks like this like I said and we'll break it down a little bit later on as well because the three parts in it are actually, uh, all of them are new to us so we'll ignore that for now but it's just important that we know this character now. Um, or how to say it at least. So may here actually means no, basically. Um, I'll tell you the difference between no as in bu and may later on. Basically may means no have as in there is no. Um, so what we can do with the rest here is um, what we need to learn is we have guanxi which means connection or relation as in relationship. This is an English word even uh, but it's very much used in China because in China your guanxi is so important. It basically translates to your relation. Um, every time you want to make business with someone, you go and sing karaoke and you drink loads of beer and then you have a deal, most likely. And it's very important that you have a good connection. We, let's stop calling it connection or relationship, let's just call it guanxi. So, uh, then we would call it mei and then mei guanxi would be good or no, no have and then connection. <laughs> and this actually means, it sounds like well, there's no connection, it's bad, but this is actually something good, it means it's okay. There is nothing, nothing out of harm came out of this. So if you want to say, I'm sorry, if you're saying, I'm sorry, and then we're answering, it's okay, we can just say, no worries, like, no problem. We can say, mei guanxi, mei guanxi, mei guanxi. Um, so yes, here you can hear someone saying it. The first one is going to say, sorry, as in, and then we're going to answer, mei guanxi. And here's a video that really scared me. You should have respect for the police in China. And I saw something that I wanted to record here when I was in China last time on a police car. So I told the cameraman to record it. Uh, and to, but Anne then all of a sudden, Anne just sort of ran up to the police car here uh, as it started moving as well. Uh, and I got really scared, so I just sort of ran out of the picture. Uh, but Anne walked all the way up there uh, because she saw the word, uh, I don't remember the word. Either way, uh, what's important is uh, I said, Don't, Anne, watch out, watch out, it's the police, anything can happen now. And she said, Meguanxi. It's okay, it's okay. So these are the things that Anne does for you and you learning Chinese. Let's have a look. So we can say that Anne has now risked her life so that you can learn Chinese. I haven't really uh, risked my life though because I don't think it's worth it. But she definitely, so uh, admire her. And uh, please learn Chinese for her sake. Ha, ha, ha.